government addresses their concerns. Our Middle Belt Bureau Chief, Edward Opomafo, provides a report on this matter. During a visit by city news to some of the affected schools, the once vibrant campuses now appear desolate with only a handful of students remaining. Those still on campus express their frustration as many of their peers have already departed due to the ongoing strike. As a consequence of the strike, academic activities have come to a halt, leaving the remaining students stranded and unsure of how to proceed. The situation is particularly worrisome for those students who were supposed to write exams during this period, fearing that the strike's continuation may adversely affect the academic progress and disrupt the academic calendar. In light of the escalating concerns, the students are urging the government to promptly address the issues raised by the teachers and find a resolution to end the strike. Actually, the strike is affecting us very much, especially the 300s and the 100. Most of the 300s have gone home. They have exams to write in the next two weeks. And this strike coming in has really affected their, their studies. Some have to go to the classroom to have their own discussion, group discussion, as well as we the level 100. Instead of us going to the classroom, some have to go home, others are roaming outside doing all sorts of things. So it's actually, <laughs> I don't know what to say, but everything is in a mess right now. Yes, and we, 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 are, we, are, we, are, we are actually um, pleading with the government to come in for the teachers' areas to be paid so that they can, they can come back to the classroom and then for class to continue. Because right now, everything is in a, is in a mess. There is nothing going on effectively in the school. I can say the strike is really affecting us. For talking of the level 300, it's very some two weeks for them to try the other. And even our sisters who are in level 400 and 200 are waiting for us to vacate so they can occupy the space for them to continue with their, uh, their, their semester. But we are here. We are stranded. Yeah, we are stranded. We just do our, our, our own discussion. We need the lectures. We need the lectures. Right. So we are pleading on the government to come to our aid. Because the strike, it will affect us. Yeah. It's really, really affecting us. Really. We, are, we have been stranded, we are roaming about. We can go to town anytime we like. Uh, this craft, I feel the experience, you just go to uh, the school, nothing. Nothing. Because we, uh, we, we, we have spent three weeks now, we haven't learned anything. Even in class, some of our books haven't been provided to us. We are still waiting for the government to come to us so that our lecturers can come and teach us. Meanwhile, the leadership of CTAC remains resolute in their determination to continue the strike until the government takes action to address their present concerns. Francis Chebedu, the chairman of CTAC at the Wesley College of Education in the Ashanti region, reaffirms the association's commitment to their cause. Our strike is, is underpinned by the fact that government of Ghana continues to refuse to recognize us as tertiary institutions. The um, Colleges of Education Act 2012, Act 847, all colleges of education in Ghana, all the 46 colleges of education in Ghana are tertiary institutions. And we have conditions of service. This year, government has refused to implement our conditions of service and pursuant to that, we petitioned the National Labor Commission. And the National Labor Commission, on the 2nd of May, 2023, granted our petition that our conditions of service should be paid from January 2023. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in August 2023, and government continues to flout the National Labor Commission's order. And that explains why we have decided to lay down our tools. Therefore, our main grounds for this strike are, one, the refusal of government through um, um, Fair Wages and Salaries Commission, Ministry of uh, Finance, to pay our seven months allowances and arrears. Number two, Failure of Ghana um, Tertiary Education Commission to publish um, the staff audits that was done recently. Number three, 
we are also uh, pleading that government abolishes the enemical um, all year round teaching. You understand? And then the payment of one month's salary for the all year round teaching that was done last year. So these are our grounds. And until these grounds are implemented, colleges of education teachers all over the country will never resume any teaching. We will never resume our services. While students who are the receiving end of this strike are calling on authorities to ensure the issue is addressed as early as possible, members of the College of Education Teachers Association of Ghana are insisting that they will continue embarking on the strike until their issues are completely addressed. For City News, I'm Edward Oponmarful, Wesley College of Education, Kumasi.